Hey everybody, Tim here with today's episode of Star Trek Deep Space Nine, Season 4, Episode 25, The Broken Link. This is a terrific episode. It's a, it's the season finale, and this is kind of the episode where shit really goes down. It's a huge turning point for the series. And, I mean, I kind of almost wish they had done it as a two-parter, but that's not really Deep Space Nine's style. And it's okay, it, it totally fits all by itself. So the episode starts out really interesting where Odo is sick and he has almost like a seizure or something. I think he was talking to Garrick. And uh, it he but he has to go to Dr. Bashir and Dr. Bashir's like trying to check him out. And Odo's like, well, what's wrong with me? And Dr. Bashir's like, you know, I don't know anything about your species. Like you could be going through anything from puberty to menopause. And Odo, like with his dry humor, is just like, ha ha, doctor. And it's it's kind of funny. Um, now, while all of this is happening, kind of keep in the back of your mind, uh, Chancellor Gowron is sending out this broadband message where he's talking about how tensions are rising between the Federation and the Klingon Empire and how it looks like they're about to go to war. So just kind of keep that in the back of your mind. Um, meanwhile, there's some really funny scenes with Kira, who was... Uh, Nana was actually pregnant at the time and during the scene like she keeps sneezing and it's funny because uh, Dax and Cisco are like oh I think she'll do eight no no I think she'll do seven and even Worf gets in on it and she kind of makes the the comment how human women get nauseous but Bajoran women sneeze and I don't know I just thought it was really funny and it's an interesting way to kind of show once again how different Bajorans are for humans because Bajorans are one of the more human looking uh, races. Um, me, finally, they come to the conclusion that Odo has to go find the Founders. Now, we know that the Founders are not on their original homeworld because, like, the Cardassians attacked and it ended up being this giant ruse. And so they have, they actually have to go to the Gamma Quadrant in the, the Defiant, uncloaked, basically like, hey, we're here for help, don't kill us, and find the Founders. <clears throat> and there's a really touching scene where Quark comes out and Odo's like, oh, I bet you're happy I'm leaving. And Quark's like, damn right I'm happy. My profits are going to go up 60%. And Odo's like, well, don't get used to it. I'm coming back. And it's that really touching moment where the two of them are just a foil for each other. They really complete one another. Um, finally, and Garrick ends up going with them. And so the the crew go out and they're they're kind of just moseying around the gamma quadrant looking and they finally find the gem hadar and the female changeling who's the same woman i've mentioned i try to mention every time i see her that she's the woman from the episode the chase in the next generation that that's the race that founded all of civilization that's why we all look kind of the same um which there's the huge conspiracy theory that she's the same woman she's still the founder so i don't know i'm always curious what you guys think about that um, and there's a really kind of scary moment because for the most part she's really like like kind of sits in the background and almost lethargic at to a point where she's just like hi welcome to my race and Garrick's like so how many people like of my race are left from the ones that attacked you and she's like none they're dead they're all dead you're dead Cardassians are dead you attacked us and we will uh, uh, like annihilate your entire species and it's like damn like you hit a button on that woman and it's kind of scary so finally she convinces them to go to their new home world and basically odo has to be absorbed into like the the ocean of changelings and connect to the great link and you see him kind of come down there and then after a few minutes, he actually comes back up out of the liquid and it's kind of weird. And he like washes up on shore because there's like this little island conveniently placed there. And he's just naked, which I've always curious, like how René Abagernois felt about being naked and how naked he really was. Um, so if he ever watches that, I'm curious to know. And... It, they they do the readings and it turns out that he is now a solid and the changeling ha, changelings have given him what he's always wanted and he is now a solid but out of a douche move they actually left his face intact just to remind him that he was never not originally that way and that they did it on purpose so as a kid, this is one of the earliest memories I have watching Deep Space Nine. The earliest memory I ever have was actually the bird that flies into him. But that's that's a little spoilery. That's that's getting on later. Um, because like I've said, I hated Deep Space Nine as a kid. It, I had to be an adult to really appreciate the, the series as it was meant to be appreciated. Um, so finally, 
everybody goes back home and it kind of ends on a cliffhanger where Gowron again shows up and is like, we're heading to war. And Odo's like, holy shit, that's what I remember. Gowron is a changeling. And then it cuts. As far as a season finale, I thought this was terrific. Like, it was a great episode. It was, like, one of those really, like, on your on the edge of your seat type of episodes. And I just kind of really enjoyed it. Like, I feel like in the beginning, they didn't really know what to do with Odo. But at this point, they felt like they had a good grasp on the character. And they're really doing some interesting things with him. And I'm super excited to go into season five and see how he adapts at being a solid. So for those who have seen this one... Did you guys guess the ending? Like, when you first watched this series, did you ever think Odo was going to be a solid? What do you guys think about the changeling woman and being a founder? Just what do you guys think about season four overall? Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the subscriptions. I will see you guys next time for season five, episode one, Apocalypse Rising.